Hello everybody, it's Pineapple. I'm back after a lengthy, lengthy departure. Um, but, you know, life goes that way sometimes. Sometimes you don't have time to do the things you enjoy. But, that's how it is. Uh, but we're back with a very, very interesting uh, video today. And that is Big Fish Turbo. Uh, specifically, Deep Sea Coelacanth. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this card, uh, he's awesome. Um, so, the way it works is once per turn, you get to discard a card, and then special as many fish from your deck, they can't attack, and their effects are negated. Um, if you've noticed, that's a crazy, crazy effect. Um, and fortunately, there are actually some good targets and good ways to turbo him out now, um, which is very nice. Um, previously, there weren't. Uh, and if you're wondering why I chose to build this deck, uh, simply put, uh, I've been trying to get into Edison more, and the deck that really got me was uh, Coelacanth Turbo in Edison. And so I figured, why can't we try to make him work in a mo more modern setting? So, let's get into the card by card. Uh, first up, of course, the boy, uh, Coelacanth. He's the big man. Uh, we want to see him as much as possible. And we're doing pretty much everything to find him and get him on the board. Uh, next up, we have one Snobios Shade of the Goatee, uh, who during the main phase can quick effect banish up two fish from your hand or crave, special summon it from your hand, and if it's special summoned, you get to target a face-up card in the field, and it gains the effect that that card is banished when it leaves the field, which is kind of useful. Uh, mostly it's just for banishing goatees. Um, one Royal Eel as a target for Coelacanth. It's just a fish tuner that's a level 4. Uh, one Ixia, who when a fish is banished, uh, can special himself from the hand. He's just a level 4 extender. Three Leaf Fish to get Paces into the grave. Uh, three Angler as an extender. Tribute Fodder, etc., etc. Good target. Uh, it's a big 4. Uh, one Oyster Meister. Um, just a level 3 target for Coelacanth. You know, unfortunately you do have to play Bricks for Coelacanth, but, you know, the big fish is funny, so it's worth it. Uh, we're on three copies of Swap, just to get things out, uh, Tribute Fodder, put things in the grave so that we can reborn them, etc, etc. Swap just does a lot for this deck, it's also a level 2 extender, um, and it's very useful for making things like Abyss Keeper. Um, next up, the freaking best card ever that lets us turbo out Coelacanth, uh, Paces, uh, you can banish it that you control, and then special a fish from your hand, you know, just any fish, uh, no restrictions on it, you know, like Coelacanth, um, <laughs> which is just awesome. Uh, it's it's fantastic, and then it'll summon itself back in the standby like all of the tunas. Uh, Shif um, is another one. It's one of the quick synchro tunas, um, and you can banish it from your grave, target a fish you control, and that fish gains 500 attack. Um, I've actually had that come up where it makes, you know, OTKing slightly easier. Uh, one Zep, when it's banished during your opponent's turn, it special summons itself, and whenever it's special summoned on your opponent's turn, it will immediately quick synchro. Uh, he's fantastic. He's our Arporius target. Um, he's up. He's great. Uh, one Fishborg Launcher. Launcher. It's a target for um, Coelacanth. It's a rebornable level 1 tuner. Um, and with Coelacanth, you can use it to make uh, uh, level 8 synchros, which is great. Uh, three copies of a Tutiful Princess. This gets us to Paces. Um, or Leaf Fish, depending on whatever we want, etc., etc. Uh, one copy of Foolish Burial, so we can uh, either dump Paces, uh, then reborn it with something like White Mirror or Reborn, or Coelacanth if we hard draw Reborn, which we, we do at one point. Um, one copy of Reborn, because, you know, you can dump um, Coelacanth off of uh, Leaf Fish, or the full into Leaf Fish, etc., etc. Uh, three copies of Small World. Uh, swap is your bridge. Uh, everything except, I believe, your, two, your Tunas uh, bridges you to um, Coelacanth. Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we are on one copy of Terraforming to find our field spell because it searches Paces, uh, and we want to see him as much as possible. Three copies of White Mirror to reborn Paces as needed, and two copies of Imperm because, you know, you always need interruptions. In the extra, we have one Baron de Fleur because it's Baron, and it's the best uh, 10 in the game, and it's fantastic. Uh, one Chengus, two copies of Godia the Deep Beyond because uh, it's a fantastic interruption. One Adamantipator Adamant Risen Dragite because uh, spell negates are nice. Or white or a whale because red gecking on your opponent's turn is fantastic. Uh, one Ascon, uh, banish uh, t card your opponent controls. It's fantastic. Arporius, it makes the whole uh, combo tick on your opponent's turn. Uh, one copy of Bahamut, uh, one copy of Dweller, two copies of Toad, uh, and one Abyss Keeper. Abyss Keeper also lets us turbo out Zelacanth. Uh, so with that, let's get into the games. So, our first match is simply to just demonstrate the exact power of this combo and just how far off it can go. We'll start with Swap, Pitch, Ixeep. Uh, we'll dump another copy of Swap, Normal Leaf Fish, uh, and we'll bid a copy of Paces. Um, from here, we'll bring back Paces, add another copy, um, and then we'll just straight up uh, use Paces to grab out Coelacanth. Uh, we'll fire Coelacanth, and they will try to Valor us, and unfortunately for them, we're just going to negate that with Coelacanth and actually get to summon another body. From here, we'll make Barone, we'll trigger Shift, 
uh, and uh, as well as Leaffish, we'll draw another card, and it's fucking terraforming because we're just nice with it. So from here, we will add uh, our field spell, fire our field spell, uh, banish our paces, and add Ixie. Uh, we'll special our Ixie off of this, um, and then you swap to return it to hand. Um, and our opponent will scoop as we have full banish combo, okay. combo plus Barone. Uh, so this was mostly just to demonstrate how powerful the deck can be. I get that that's a five card combo to end on Barone and a board wipe, but I think it's funny and this is a janky video. And that's what our, the absolute ceiling is uh, through one hand trap. So with that, let's get into some more interesting and interactive games. So our next match is up against uh, Layer of Darkness. Uh, they're going first, which is bad news for us. They'll grab Layer off of um, whichever one the searcher is, uh, Armia. Um, they'll fire Layer and set one and pass back to us, which isn't too threatening, but uh, you never know with Layer. We'll draw Coelacanth for turn, because we're just nice with it, and we'll normal Paces, fire Paces, grab out Coelacanth, um, and then uh, proceed to grab out a whole bunch of guys. From here, they'll flip Super Poly, and since everything is dark, they can po Super Poly away our entire board, but fortunately, we have White Mirror to get back this Angler. But unfortunately for us, we can't use Angler to summon because it makes them all dark, which kind of sucks for us. So we'll grab out Snopios, use Snopios to make um, their guy banish. Uh, they'll pop our Synchro, and we'll pa clear their guy and pass back to them. Um, from here, we're kind of just hoping they don't have anything since they only set one. Um, and we'll trigger Shift, and we'll trigger Paces in the standby. Um, this is pretty much the end of the game, as they'll set three. We'll fire Paces, grab out Arporius, banish Sep, uh, and from here we'll zap. Uh, and make uh, it into go to the deep beyond. We'll wipe their board, and this is the end of the game. Um, from here, they'll concede. Our next match is up against everybody's favorite Trick Stars. Uh, we'll start with the good old most distant deepest steps. We'll fire paces, grab out Leaf Fish. Uh, we'll use Leaf Fish to pin Fishboard Blaster, or Launcher. I wish Blaster was legal. I don't know why it's not. They can probably unbend it. Uh, we'll trigger Exeep, they'll trigger Droll, um, and we'll pass back with two of our Goaties banished so that we have plenty of Synchro options. From here, they will begin by, of course, activating Dark Room of Nightmare and Festival to grab out themselves two tokens they'll make for Holly Angel, and we will proceed to Arporius, Arporius for Zep, you know, this combo at this point, we'll trigger Zep, and we will Zep for, of course, Ascon, and trigger Arporius to search. Uh, we'll banish uh, their Holly Angel on our Ascon, we'll search Snopios, we'll trigger Ascon, um, they'll summon Candina, they'll Candina for Lightroom, Room. and from here they're going to grab uh, whichever one is just Sidra. Um, from here, I elected to just banish their board, board because they proceeded to pass, um, but then they specialed out Corbane, which is unfortunate for me. Uh, they'll poke me for 2k, but we don't really care, we want to trigger this um, Snopios on my turn. Earn. We'll trigger Deep Beyond, and as well as uh, Shift. From here, we'll Special Angler and Tribute for Coelacanth. Uh, we'll fire off Coelacanth for a whole bunch of guys and proceed to make Barone. Uh, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't pop uh, with Barone here. That was that was really dumb on my part. I kind of just forgot that Barone has text because uh, I'm a big dummy. But it's it's Trickstar. They can't really kill me through Barone. Anyways, um, we'll draw another card off of this leap fish because why not uh it's imperm and that's that's just so much more than you know i could ever ask for in this matchup we'll trigger shift as well as paces even though there's literally nothing to sink into just for you know more bodies um they'll poke us directly with lily bell trigger lily bell and we'll just burrow negate this so they don't get anything and they'll concede so our fourth and final match is up against photon we've drawn uh, combo, but, you know, it's a little sketchy. We'll use uh, Small World to grab Coelacanth, um, and pray they don't have an interruption, which they don't. We'll fire Batunaful, grab out Paces. We'll use Paces here for Coelacanth. Uh, we'll drop Coelacanth. We'll pitch this shift so that we can, you know, continue to sink more. Um, from here, we'll trigger Leaf Fish, uh, because we think it's funny even though it's negated. We'll increase Coelacanth, we'll make Dragite, and we'll pass back to our opponent. As there's no five we can make. I'm not sure why I grabbed Fishborg. I should have made, you know, another eight with uh, Coelacanth. I'm a little dumb. Um, they'll special out uh, Thrasher, grab uh, Photon Dragon. Uh, and then from here, they're going to drop Trade In, which is kind of bad news for us. Um, they'll reveal um, for Knight, or Brave, that's Brave. Um, uh, and then trigger Orbital from here. We will drop Paces for Arporius. We'll trigger Arporius for Zep. Uh, and then we will Zep in order 
order to uh, banish their tiny little guy, um, specifically so that they don't get another search. Uh, we'll grab Snopios uh, and trigger Ascon here. Here, the link for uh, the new Photon Dragon, grab the Reborn spell, uh, and proceed to get out their copy of uh, Galaxy Eyes. Uh, from here, they'll make it a four and link away for Solar Flare in order to grab back Thrasher. They'll walk over our Ascon because I put it in defense because, again, I'm a dumbass. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter because we've drawn the most distant, deepest depths because I'm simply the greatest player. Uh, we'll drop Depths um, and they'll clear our Dragite. Uh, from here, we'll banish Ascon, but it doesn't matter because we still have the, the eight to Synchro with. We'll trigger Ascon on and then sync for Barone. Uh, we'll Barone to clear, trigger uh, Arporius. Yes. Yes, and then I forgot that Fishborg, uh, you know, can't attack because it was summoned off the Coelacanth. So, unfortunately, uh, they, they got to live with 100 life points because I'm, I'm kind of dumb. We'll trigger Coelacanth and link for Abyss Keeper. Keeper, and just because I, I whiffed Lethal. I should have normal paces and linked for Abyss Keeper, but, you know, I, I, I'm dumb. Um, they'll trigger Avarice and we'll just Barone this. Well, uh, we, we really don't care. Uh, there's nothing in their head that Galaxy has that's a one-card combo. Whereas Avarice can, you know, do all sorts of untold damage to us. So from here, we'll just proceed to walk into battle. They'll grab out Galaxy Eyes, and we'll just crash Coelacanth because the game wouldn't let me. We'll crash Barone and then get in for lethal. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I very much enjoyed this deck. Hopefully I can uh, put some Edison videos up uh, about Coelacanth uh, because I've been kind of enjoying playing it, testing with it. Uh, nothing special yet, but uh, hopefully we're going to get back to daily uploads uh, very, very soon. Uh, probably as soon as this video is up. I'm going to start uploading on the daily again, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.